Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video of Farming with Carp. Not a whole lot going on today. Got a few odds and ends things we got to do. Uh, first thing we got to do this morning is we just got the tires for our flail chopper back from the tire guy. Uh, we were having lots of problems when we were out flail chopping getting thorns and soybean stems poking through the tire, so we went ahead and had them filled with foam. So they're airless now, they're full of foam. We shouldn't have any more problems with flat tires. So that's awesome. So first thing on the agenda this morning, get the tires back on the flail mower. Go get the tractor from the field that we got put on the flail mower. Get it picked up in the air and I got some greasing I need to do on those bearings underneath for those drums. So that's, what's, that's what we're gonna start with this morning. So we'll just see what the rest of the day brings today. See if we can show you guys what we're doing here and keep rolling on. We got a little bit of rain the last past few days. <clears throat> so conditions are probably a little bit wet out there. So probably no field work for us here for the next couple days, maybe. I could be totally wrong. We had a pretty hot day yesterday, so a lot could have dried up. So we'll just have to get out there and assess the conditions, see if we can get across it. We do have a couple fields that this flail mower could be running on. So maybe that's what we'll get brewing this afternoon is get that thing across some acres. But just stay tuned and we'll see what the day brings. These tires went from weighing about, I don't know, 20 pounds to about 160 pounds. Uh, too much? Too much in there? No. Too much tire? Yeah. But too much. There, do I still grab my watch? Which way you need to go, up or down? Keep coming in. You need to go, oh, so close. Let me come out to you just a little bit. Or no, keep coming into me, I guess. Oh, now roll your tire to your right. Right? Oh, it's so close. Now kick it over. Oh. Pick it up just a skosh. There you go. Keep going. back a little more. Boom! Need some more. Back some more. Boom! That'll work, maybe. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, try number one. By the way, slowly. 
All right, now go to the other one. Go to the other one. Keep going. Other way. Other way. There you go. Uh, go down just a little bit with that one. I think that's pretty close. I can live with that. You're free. smooth barrel roller. Uh, we're just going to leave that roller at the field for now until we need it again before we put on some more alfalfa. So now we're just going to drive this tractor back home to the farm. We're going to hook it on the flail mower. Uh, and that flail mower, i got to do a little bit of greasing left underneath on the bearings yet. And then that flail mower will be ready to rock and roll. So we'll just have to get out there a little later today and assess field conditions and see how it's looking. Uh, this field we were just in here really is not too bad. Uh, still maybe just a, a hair tacky, but really not bad. Uh, things are drying out quick with the heat we've had. Uh, hot days, high humidity. Yesterday was almost an unbearable day. If you're, if you're just standing there thinking, you were sweating. If you're working, you're sweating. Now if you're laying down outside, you were sweating. It was one of those days where it was just hot. But that's good. We got a little bit of we got a lot of moisture and some good heat, so that'll let these crops explode. So growing conditions are good. So if we can just keep getting some timely rains, uh, the crops will keep looking good and we'll keep doing alright. So let's get this tractor back to the farm. And we made it back home. Grayson, come on now. There's four of these drums that span this whole distance. There's 172 sets of these knives that spin at about a thousand RPM. The main use for one of these would be like uh, corn stalks, but we utilize it for weeds, uh, for cover crops, and it works really well for us. This is what the underside of one looks like. Here's the drum and all the knives. Pretty wicked machine once it gets moving. Alrighty guys, the flow mower is just about ready to go. 
Andy's putting some finishing touches on it, just topping off the gearbox with a little bit of oil. Then we'll be ready to get that old girl out of the shop and get her back on her way to the field, hopefully today. Uh, just like I keep saying, we've got to get out there and check conditions. Uh, maybe a hair tacky yet, but we're unsure. But we'll get to that point when we get there. Uh, but for now, this morning, just a little bit of maintenance. Just to ensure once it's time to go, everything's ready to go and we don't have any problems and we can have limited top, limited shop time. It's never a good thing when all your equipment's in the shop getting worked on. That means you're not getting any work done out in the field. So a little preventative maintenance. That goes a long, long way in my book. I'd rather spend a little extra time in the shop while we got it down making sure it's ready to go. That way, when the field time comes, we're ready to rock and roll. So we get the flail motor flail mower finished up here, get it outside, park it out in the lot, and then we'll get the next thing in the shop and keep on working today. been a whole lot going on these past several days uh, just a little bit of general maintenance work a little bit of work on the pivot getting it back going uh, but now it's about uh, 8 8 30 tonight uh, we got a little bit of corn we need to haul tomorrow with it being the Friday before 4th of July we need to go ahead and get a few loads up to the dairy here in Warren County that way they've got enough corn to get through the holiday weekend so it's just me here tonight. I've got two trucks and I'm gonna go ahead and get loaded for the morning. I'll probably take up both. Everybody's got the day off tomorrow. Uh, Aaron and Andy got the day off, but I'm gonna take a load or two up. So I might load two trucks. So let's, let's get to loading. <laughs> Additional smoke, yeah. Well, I let that truck build some air for the truck and the trailer so I can release the brakes. Let's go over here and show you just what little few buttons we got to push to get this leg going and get some corn moving. So, the first thing we got to do when we get over here is obviously we got to turn the leg on. So, there the leg goes. Next thing we got to do. We got to turn the pit on. Anyways, the reason we got to turn the pit on is because we're pulling grain from the south side of our bin setup. So the grain's coming out of that big 150,000 bushel bin to the left, coming out the unload into a conveyor, into the conveyor here, and then the conveyor will then load into the pit, up that leg, and into the truck. All right, so once we're over here on the south side where all our controls are, We've just got two buttons to hit. We got this 5-6 conveyor, which is a conveyor that pulls out of bin 5 and bin 6. 
and then we've got bin five. So turn on the conveyor and then turn on the unload for bin five. So that's the way we do it, pulling out of bin five on the south side of our granary. So let's go over here, move the truck under here and get to loading. Alrighty, so got the truck parked underneath there. All we're gonna do now is hit the five six conveyor. He's gonna turn on that conveyor right there. And we'll go ahead and hit bin number five on non-GMO corn. As you can probably hear, bin five just turned on and you should see corn coming here in a minute. Probably just saw me there, I was just feeling the corn to see if it's still cool. Uh, one thing we really like to do in the winter time is when we get some cold weather, we really, we really like to turn the fans on and really get that crop cool. That way you know it's going to store really well when you get into these hot 90 degree summers. So the corn feels really good. Well, that's good. Now let's just get to loading the truck. Loading on GMO corn. Halfway loaded. On to the back hopper now. Yeah, not a bad load. I'd say she's full. Looks like maybe this Indiana sun's going to paint a beautiful sunset. We'll see. Well, got truck 81 and 82 loaded for the morning to go up to the dairy. It's about 9.30 tonight so i'm gonna go ahead and shut the shop doors up and call it a night but i appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you on the next one thank you